What in the world happened? Christian glanced around from the bottom of the mountain. The bird was right. The storm had arrived. It was dark. Soft flurry pelts of ice fell from the sky and hit his face. Flames and smoke filled the air that surrounded the mortal town. The shouts and cries of the people from the town ricocheted like arrow darts swinging each and every way in his mind. The mortals were dying, <laughs> suffocating from the smoke. The bird lingered in the sky above, amongst the clouds and smoke. The bird's laughter pinged through Christian's mind. He cringed, pushing himself up from the ground and stood straining, glaring at the sky. What in the world happened? Why are you laughing, bird? You'll see, the earth diver soared through the clouds further over the town. Beaky nose. What? Christian, what's going on? said Imani, coming up beside him, glancing around at the skies. I don't know. The mortal town is up in flames. <coughs> Are you okay? said Imani, rushing towards Christian to help him. Bastian zoomed toward him and helped him up as well. Yeah, but something is wrong. I'm okay. Imani nodded looked around and then down at herself. It feels strange being, being. A mortal, said Bastian. Imani nodded. Quick, tell me what color my eyes are. Bastian grinned. They're green. Really? Bastian nodded. What color are mine? They're blue. Whoa! Bastian and Mani giggled and touched like pups, playing and frolicking. Christian couldn't help smile himself. He wished he could have had that much amazement like they had his first time. He hated to spoil the newfound world for them, but... So you know the diver's mud won't last long, he turned and glanced out over the town, shaking his head. Something is wrong. Something bad happened. Here, so we must hurry and find Adrian and that girl, Serena. I think we should split up. It would be easier, and if the Wolf Council is there, they won't find us. Bastian and Imani stopped and nodded in agreement with Christian, and they sped into the town where the flames continued to erupt. Excerpt from During the Blue Hour, Work in Progress Novel, 